Don Joe, she does she like ash. Hope everyone out there is gojon. She gojon out there. I'm doing good. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, today I want to give a shout out, and I don't do this often. And even when I was doing the live vlog, I felt really awkward to give a shout out. I mean, like you know, I like I keep telling you guys, I'm nobody, I'm nothing special, okay. Uh, but today, for a very special reason, I want to give a shout out to a very dear friend who, whom, whom I have just connected with. Uh, her name is Ashley. Ashley, it was wonderful meeting you uh, in person today. Uh, we've been conversing through uh, Facebook Messenger for maybe about a month and a half now, and we finally met each other in person. And uh, I also want to give a shout out to Julia and Alex as well. It was wonderful meeting you guys today. Um, now, ever since my good buddy and I, Neol Hatachli Hashtin, had done that very first Two-Spirit blog back in 2014. Every, every time since that, that I had done a blog talking about Two-Spiritness, essentially it was a recap. Um, I'm going to start throwing some uh, links up throughout this entire blog consecutively of when uh, I did a Two-Spirit topical uh, uh, vlog now ever since what, what was it? uh pride month is what june right i have uh very dear friends of mine who uh are big two spirit supporters they're not gay lesbian they don't identify as any of those things but they're, they're very big supporters but uh they had invited me to this facebook page and it's just, I, I, I found it very uh, kind of saddening. I found it very, very saddening that all of these special peoples, you know, all of these, all of these not lay, these, these two spirit peoples, unfortunately, they want to live underneath that um, umbrella term of being called, being seen as two spirit peoples, okay? Um, I am as well but I mean I look I don't live by these labels okay I don't live by anybody else's terms but mine okay I'm not gay I'm not straight I'm not bisexual okay I'm me I'm the only person me I can be and and so are you and so is Taz um, but it's like it's like you want to be it's like you want to exist under that umbrella term two spirit, like because you feel like that entitles you to some kind of um, some some kind of status. And we, I'm nobody, okay. I'm, I'm I'm just a guy who blogs every single week that has uh, my views. A lot of people agree with them. Some people slightly agree with them. Some people disagree with them. That's everyone's uh, prerogative, okay. It's called free speech here in the country. Um, but I just feel like so many native people who identify as gay, lesbian, whatever, LGBTQ, what, I, everything now. Uh, it's like, yeah, let's just throw one more um, uh, letter up on there. It's like, it's like you identifying, thirsty boy, huh? I feel like people are just content with cementing themselves in a label. Okay, I don't want to be identified. I don't want to. I don't want to be labeled as two spirit either. Okay, um, even though I do imbue, I do have the male and the female spirits deeply within me because I am an XX male. I am genetically female, but I am anatomically physically male. Um, I don't identify my 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 sexuality who i am attracted to by 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 what people do gay lesbian bisexual or anything like that okay um my good buddy leonard uh had had hit me to this new term it's called sapiosexual and essentially it means that you are just attracted to people gender has nothing to do with it okay now <sighs> I want you to think on a very notable two-spirit person, which everyone may or should know of, Wiwa. Wiwa never said 
never said once, I am a two-spirit person. Call me two-spirit. We would just lived, just was and were, okay? It's not all about, you know, if if it's so important to you to have like this, this status, it's like you're wearing a big crown saying, I am a two-spirit individual. You know what? I'm going to say about 90% of all you Natale two-spirit people out there, you are not fulfilling your role. You are all about the gay lifestyle. You are all about the freaking rainbow flag, which has nothing to do with us. The rainbow essentially does have a lot to do with us in many different parts of our individual tribal cultures, but not the way that the LGBTQI, whatever other fucking letters they want to add on to that, has to do with it, okay? And a lot of people who are gay or bisexual that are native, uh, you guys are, you guys may think to yourself, man, like, well, you know, we're supposed to be like these respected people in our community and stuff like that. And, you know, the guys on our, our reservation hate us. Yeah, because you're expecting that you're something special. Just like me, I'm nobody. I'm nothing special. I'm just trying to live and to teach those who want to learn. What's up, Taz? You know, um... It's like, it's like, it's like you want a fucking trophy for being you. That's, you were born to do the job that you were born to do, to be you, crank to 100. Okay? And that is why a lot of native men and even women do not respect two people, two, two spirit people. It's because you all act like you're so fucking special. We do have a special quality about ourselves. But we are no special than we are no better than anyone else. You all need to get that to your thick fucking rainbow skulls. Doba shitko joda. I apologize for my fierce language, but this is how I feel, and I'm not gonna back down. And like, that's exactly why straight guys on the res they don't respect you, cause y'all act like you're something special. That you're bigger than who you are. You know. I think your personality is bigger than who you are. It's really what it freaking boils down to, son. And it bothers me a lot that people are creating these false idols. Like, okay, Joey Criddle is this Apache um, two-spirit person who's been in a b bunch of documentaries and, and whatnot. And there's been a... There's, there's, there's a bunch of, like... It doesn't impress me. What? You're supposed to be a part of your community. You're supposed to be functioning. You're supposed to be helping. You're not supposed to be all about, you know, fucking being fucking fabulous and, and shit like that. You're losing yourself because you're adhering yourself to the white LGBTQTI culture. And I don't hate that culture. I think they have a very, I think they have a very beneficial role for people, for their own community. You're native people, you have to remember that first and foremost. Okay? And why do we feel like, oh well I don't want to completely identify as a Native American. Why? Because of fucking brainwashing. You've been brainwashed uh, to feel negative about being native. And that's why we're all, that, that's not the only thing I am. Fuck yeah it is. Well if you're mixed then you're mixed. Say if you're like half Scandinavian and then you're like a quarter of freaking uh, Chippewa or something like that. Then cool. But don't you know, don't don't only identify with one thing, but you you need to realize that uh, even Scandinavian people had their own ways before everything became colonized. Under, I mean, do you understand that? Um, there's a video. Go check it out. Tell me, watch that video, Rammstein, America, and that is exactly what America does. America seizes, they gentrify, they go in and they want to they want to put a fucking Dunkin' Donuts in every corner of the freaking world. Okay, they're, they're still colonizing minds today, and that's really what it, it's boiling down to. And so you need to, uh, you need to rub your eyes open, right? Clean all that crap out of, clean, clean all that rainbow crap out of your eyes, all right? And wake up, okay? Now this may be hard to hear from another not lay two spirit person, but I'm speaking the truth. Yeah, being two spirit, you know, being a person that 
is imbued with both male and female spirits. Not necessarily like, okay, I only like guys or, 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 or I only like girls or, or, you know, whatever. You know, how, how, like, like, coloring your hair is nothing, like, ah, oh, ah, oh, my children. I'm telling you, I, 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 I feel so frustrated about this uh, because I care. And at the same time, because I care so much, I feel like I'm being taken, uh, apart um, because I care and it's like no one no one listens and it's like I might as well just lead let you lead yourselves off the cliffs like lemmings you know if your life is not here on this planet to learn and to evolve every single day what are you doing here you're getting in somebody's way you're taking up space I also want to bring up something which is sensitive. This whole vlog is sensitive, okay? Transgender. Okay. You could say I am a naturally mutated transgender person because I have two female chromosomes, but I have male anatomy. Okay? But people like Weewa, who mostly identified as a female, also encapsulated, also acknowledged her male side by you taking out, it's only your body. It's your spirit is the one that's supposed to be the intact part. You know, your body can't go on without your spirit. You know, the spirit always goes on. Okay? So it's like everybody, well, I was born in the wrong body and stuff like that. We were mostly identified as a female but still knew that there were male things about her, all right? It's like everybody, like now, everybody's like, well, you know what? I feel like I maybe should have been born a male or maybe I should have been born a female. So it's easy, yeah. Go fund me $60,000 uh, 60, so I can get a sex change. It's not going to change who you are on the inside. This is just a body. This is plastic. You know, this this is this is all breakable. Your body is breakable, okay? But it's your spirit is the one that you're supposed to be strengthening. I just heard on the news a couple of days ago that some fucking idiot uh, woman wanted. Uh, it was the very first gender reassignment for a dog. A dog. Now the dog was backwards for me. I have two female chromosomes. This dog had two male chromosomes. We're starting to urinate only in a male fashion. And so I, essentially, you know what I believe? Is that this person who owned this dog wanted some 15 minutes of fame, this notoriety to say, yeah, look, my dog had the first gender reset. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I will bullet punch right through your fucking head. This dog is just trying to live, okay? live in a natural way okay uh, and everyone is escaping the natural way you know like like the black plague you know there are parts of your spirit that can identify and you can fuse in with the male and the female aspects of your spirit. Your body is breakable. Nothing is permanent. I'm very sorry for getting upset, but you know what, if I, this is, this is how I, this is how I was raised my entire life, is by a former Marine. And if I don't listen, when I when I'm told in a nice way, then get on, get on me, and that's when I'll learn. Some some people have to learn the hard way. You gotta learn the hard way. I care about everyone out there, boys, girls, and everyone in between. And I say that because I'm an in betweener. I've been in between my entire life, even long before I even knew that I had XX male De La Chapelle syndrome. You know it. But fixing your body is a temporary solution 
okay, to something that is not even a problem. It's all up here, okay? Do you know that your brain and your heart speak two different languages? That is why it is so difficult when you have feelings that you want to express to someone, whether feelings of love or feelings of ferocity, you, there, are, there is no translation from here and from here to come out to here. Being a two-spirit person is not about waving that rainbow fucking flag with two feathers on it. Okay? It's not about saying, I'm two-spirit, I'm two-spirit. You have a role to fulfill. You know what it is. You know what it is. And if you don't know what it is, you have some serious soul searching to do. You have a journey that you need to go on. As I said before, Doba Shilt Kojoda, I am sorry for blowing up. But it's because I have a passion for educating. Not a passion for telling people what to do. I'm not lecturing. I am sharing information. It's up to you how to take it. Okay? It's up to you how to... You can listen to it and listen to it again and again and again. Or you can apply it. I want to thank everyone out there for watching... Take care, much love. Shilta nojoni njugunanda. Peace, kunash.